Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So listen, I first came to the realization that I was a minimalist when I realized that I cannot stand having a messy, cluttered, dirty home. It was something that was driving me to the edge. Like, my husband knew when it was coming, every few months I would just explode. I would just feel myself start to get overwhelmed and so tired of constantly cleaning and constantly decluttering and it just felt like a never ending process. So when I did come to this realization, it hit me that the majority of the mess in my home was from our pets. We have three dogs, two of which are extremely active, constantly playing, making a mess of things, and they spend the majority of their time indoors. We live in a very hot climate, so I like to have them inside with me because I do work from home and I stay home during the day, but I could not deal with the mess that came with having three dogs. So when I started on my minimalism journey, the goal was to make everything as simple and efficient as possible, and this same idea applied to having pets and to keeping my home clean with pets. Now look, you've seen my videos, you've seen shots around the house or Snapchats or whatever. My house is not like the, you know, image of perfection of a perfect clean house, but this channel is not about perfection. This channel is about authenticity. It's about being real and showing you guys how I simplify my life. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to share tips about how I keep my house clean with three dogs. They are large, they take up a lot of space, they make a lot of mess, but we stay on top of it and I'm going to share how today. Now, if you are into anything minimalism or simplifying your life or just living a healthy, well-fulfilled life of purpose, this channel is for you. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free. There is no cost to you. You will just be notified every time I upload a video. Also, hit the little bell if you want to actually receive like alert notifications for new videos and that will keep you up to date with anything that I post. I also have a website which I will link down below in the description box. So anytime I do a video, you can usually find the video kind of broken down on the blog. So go check that out. But now let's move straight to the tips because I have a bunch for you. Tip number one is to bathe and brush your dogs regularly. Now frequency for bathing and brushing will depend on the dog's breed, the dog's size, and the dog's lifestyle. I would recommend talking to your vet because different dogs do have different needs, but stay on top of the bathing and the brushing and you will cut down shedding a ton. Tip number two is to involve the entire family. So in my household, and I feel it should be in every household, when we bring a new pet into our home, that pet becomes the responsibility of the whole family. So I recommend giving age appropriate chores related to your pets to your children. This might be keeping their water bowls full or sweeping up after them or cleaning their beds. We've all heard the cheesy term, teamwork makes the dream work, and this applies in all aspects of life. It is much easier to stay on top of something when there are three or four people doing it as opposed to just you. The next tip is to invest in a robotic vacuum or a pet friendly vacuum. We have an iRobot in our home that I run usually about two times a day. This robotic cleaner is not meant to be a replacement for sweeping, but it does kind of space out deep cleaning. So for me, I can get away you know, with not sweeping for a day if I need to, if we are extremely busy, because the robot kind of keeps on top of it. Now, not only does it pick up fur, but it picks up dust and dander. So you would be amazed. Even when you don't see the stuff on your floor, the amount of dust and dander it picks up up, it blows my mind every single time. It's definitely a worthwhile investment, but just know going into it that it is not a replacement for cleaning your home. The next tip is to speak to your vet about an appropriate diet for your pet. This tip is so underlooked and so important because a proper diet can really make the difference between a dog that sheds a ton and a dog that sheds very little, as well as the odor that their body emits into the air. If your dog is not eating a diet that is good, that has a bunch of junk in it, or that just does not fit their needs, they will shed a ton more. Speak to your vet about it and find what they recommend to be the best food to kind of minimize all that because it will cut out a ton of cleaning time. It will kind of cut back on the amount of times you need to clean their bedding and all that stuff. So 
that would be one of the first things I would do. The next tip is to consider the furniture or the products that you use or that you buy for your home. So I say this because there are certain materials or couches or there are certain products that you can put on your furniture that actually repel things like fur and liquid and smells and odors. So that can make a big difference in how often you have to clean your furniture and how often you have to deep clean your furniture. Encourage your pets to have a designated rest area. So my dogs, they have a little space in the home where all of their beds are. I have them right together. So they all stay in that one area. And it maybe doesn't seem like a big deal, but they're always spending their time there. That's where they spend all day sleeping. So they're not sleeping in random parts of the house. They're not rubbing against the walls, trying to find a comfy spot any and everywhere. So containing them to one spot, not locking them in, but encouraging them to have a spot that they feel comfortable and that they go to, that can really help contain messes to one area of the home. Use a pet grooming mitt. So this has made a huge difference in our home. So rather than brushing every single day, sometimes I pull out the mitt. And what the mitt does is it helps to collect hair off of your pet, but it also like acts as if you're like petting them. So some dogs are a little skittish or don't really enjoy the brush, but the mitt is, you're just petting your pet. You're just petting them. So it's pulling off the hair while you're kind of giving them that attention and that affection. So they tend to like it a whole lot more than the brush. But definitely I recommend that if your pet is not crazy about a brush. The next tip is to place welcome mats at every entrance. Every single time your pet steps into your home from being outside, they are bringing in some kind of mess, they're bringing in some kind of dirt or dust or dander or whatever. So I have the mats in my house placed in a way, you know, usually you would think to put a mat right by the door, but I know that my dogs step over the door so there's a little bit of space and I put the mat in the area that I know their paw is gonna hit. So even if it's only catching a little bit of the dirt they bring from outside, it is doing something and ultimately that is helping me in the long run. Stay up to date with flea medication. I assume most people do this anyways, otherwise you have an uncomfortable dog, but it does make a really big difference in the amount of fur that is around the house. I know for me, I can tell when it's time to put my dogs back on the medication because they will start to scratch, and every time they scratch, there's just fur falling off. So the more you keep up with that, the less shedding you are gonna have. They should be on all their medication anyways, but it is something that can kind of help cut down on the mess in the home. And finally, the last tip is to consider a professional cleaner. Now, I think most people have this misconception that a cleaner or a maid is super expensive and out of the budget, but that is most definitely not true. You can find many cleaning services for $50 to $100 a week or month or whatever. Everybody has their own pricing and everybody has their own way of doing things like they bring in product or you provide product. You can ask these people to do the odd jobs that you can't necessarily get to. Somebody that comes in can collect you know the dog hair that's on the baseboards or clean their bedding these are small things that maybe you don't have time for every day or every week but they can make a huge difference I hope this video helps you guys with pets again I am just all about sharing with you guys you know the most simplified way of making your life more efficient and dogs are work they are responsibility and they are one thing that we have to stay on top of or else it can just get out of hand so if you did like this video and you would like to see more like this please give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button it's free and that's it I will see you guys in the next video until next time I love you guys thanks for watching bye